this is going to be a tutorial on how to avoid um, 5x5 edge parity where you only have two that are unmatched hopefully you know what I mean um, so what you would do you would just solve your edge pairs normally until you have four four edge pairs left so what I normally do is solve these black ones and then these bottom yellow ones so that only leaves this one this one this one and this one which is four so um, after doing that you should have a five by five like this here's two edge pairs unmatched and another two and the rest is solved oh whoops I still have this fifth one. Oh no I, I guess I could just fix that um Um, I, yeah, you could either have four or three. If you have more than four, then just keep pairing them. So, there, I just got two out of the way. So now I have three. So, sorry about that. I have these three. Um, so now what you would do is um oh whoops these aren't it's not supposed to have this double edge here they're supposed to be completely scrambled like this kind of edge piece edge there um and so I guess I should scramble this a bit more scramble just those and uh. There we go. That's more like it. Now they're all completely scrambled. So now what you do is get a double edge, double edge, the double edge pair on all three or four of them. So I'm just gonna do that now. Um, so. There. So you get this double edge there on all three of those, three or four of those treasures. So now what you would do is, um, if you have three, well, three or four, you should, um, th that just completely eliminates the, al the algorithms where, like, either this is, like, checkered, and you have to do that long algorithm, or the other ones where you have to, like, well, it only leaves one algorithm, and that's the one, like, let's say these two have to be switched that algorithm where you would do like this and that algorithm. um but yeah that this eliminates you doing from you doing them um so now what you would do is get get a full trudge pair but uh, when you do it, if you have three, then it will solve all three of them at once. If you have four, then you have to posi position the third or fourth one a certain way so that, let's say this one isn't matched or anything. And uh, so I would bring this one in, and I have to look for the unmatched edge trudge pair that has this piece. So this one has to go here so I just put it in that 
Wait, I had to bring this up. And replace it with this. So that when you bring it back down. And then you fix it. It will solve that one. And the other two. Um, it's basically just like getting two, three, or four uh, edge pairs at the same time. Um, which all the advanced cubers probably do. Um, and then you could just solve it like a three by three. So uh, that's basically just all. That's basically the end of the tutorial. I hope you could understand it, and I hope you could use this um, for when you solve it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, see you later.